Let's take a look at RSSI and S units. Now RSSI stands for Received Signal Strength Indicator and it's measured in dBm and the S units are measured on a uh, single strength meter and sometimes we call them S units or S points so we don't confuse them with uh, uh, S units in math but I'll, I'll, I'll refer to them as S units. This is a unit I have that uh, measures the raw data from a, a um, nine, uh, 900 megahertz system that I have and uh, I'm measuring the uh, the uh, dBm on there just as a test. Now turn that off. To compare the two S units and, and RSSI, we'll start with a, an S9 on the meter. You know, an S9 on the meter, it has uh, 50 microvolts into a 50 ohm load and that's equal to minus 73 dBm and that's just off of a, a chart over here that we have. So. I'm going to take the the RSSI of uh, minus 73 dVm and convert that to watts. So in order to do that, I take the power in watts is going to be equal to 10 to the power of the dVm divided by 10, and then we divide that by 1,000. So now, uh, so uh, 10 to the power of uh, we're going to use 73 dVm. Uh, we divide that by 10, so it's going to be 7.3 and we take the uh, 10 to that power and then we divide that by a thousand down here and it comes out to about 50 uh, picowatts. Now over here if we take our um, our 50 microvolts and we put that into a 50 ohm load to find our watts over here we just take the voltage squared divided by the resistance just Ohm's law and that comes out to the same thing 50 uh, 50 picowatts so we can compare the two units. Let's take a S, S1, okay, that's 0.20 microvolts and that's a minus 121 dBm. So same thing over here, we just take uh, 10 to the power of minus 121 dBm divided by 10 and then we divide, divide that whole thing by 1000. And that comes out to, uh, you know, 8 times uh, 10 to the minus 16 uh, our um, 0.8, uh, this is going to be in, in fantowatts here. And over here the same thing, if we just take the uh, 0 0.20 microvolts squared, divide, uh, divide that by 50 ohms, it comes out to uh, uh, 8 times 10 to the minus 16 in watts. Now, one thing you have to be careful about is that in ham radio we deal with uh, these estimators usually in HF, and on HF, they calibrate them for an extra 20 dB higher. So, an S9 at HF frequencies is minus 73 dBm, but at VHF, it's going to be minus 63 dBm. They add in a 20 dB gain to the HF uh, on the HF radios. But that's the the comparison between the uh, the uh, RSSI and our uh, S units or S points. So um, that's that's it. Uh, thank you.